crisis center um, it was just a mess people were we were getting hauled out in, in handcuffs like a lot happened so if you're interested in that again I let all my personal business out on patreon and I oh I let people know how I feel like like someone said unfiltered if it's too much for you performers. 
you know, marriages and dating young girls actually came close to killing his career. And when it did came on crashing down, he decided to retire and give up the United States and public life altogether. And so it became too much. All right, then.
which caused her mental illness and eventually dementia. His upbringing no doubt influenced, influenced the success and the failure of his future relationships. And it also says here, due to his mother's lifestyle, she, called, she contacted syphilis, which they say caused her mental illness and dementia. Now, I'm not sure if STDs can actually do all that, like, you know, cause you mental illness and dementia to the point that you have to live in asylum for 25 years, but back then, you know, they didn't know much, so. Okay. Yes. 
silent film era. According to legend, Chaplin was the mastermind behind some of Tinseltown most gatherings along fellow silent film star Fatty. I think it's he pronounced Art Paul. tremendously exciting. Charlie Chaplin once organized one in Hollywood for me and two f- Spanish friends. Oh, this is um a film director. I'm sorry, this is a film director that actually um, attended one of Charlie Chaplin's orgies, so he wrote, when I was young, the idea of an orgy was tremendously exciting. Charlie Chaplin once organized one in Hollywood for me and two Spanish friends. But when the three ravishing women arrived, they immediately got into a a tremendous argument over which was going to get Chaplin. And in the end, all three of them left. I'm sorry. You hear my stomach? I'm sorry. We are hungry. Yeah, so it looked like Charlie did this whole situation and the girls only wanted him so it became an argument and so it didn't work out but he was famous for the orgies that's why I'm saying when Joan Barry he kind of wanted her as a sex slave so when he did these orgies you know she would be the main attraction and any man who wanted her could have her so come and audition for the part but then he would actually make them strip little by little by little by little and then he would say well you know the part that you are um here to audition for there is a love scene on the couch so we're gonna have to do that meanwhile there was no love scene in the movie he just was being a male whore i don't know how else to put it his chance to be promiscuous but in closed doors because in actuality these females were not going to go out and say what happened because one either they were excited two they wanted the part and three they didn't want to be ruined as a actress in the movie field so if anything happened most of these women just kept quiet because remember Charlie Chaplin was not a nice man they said that he was cruel physically abusive um all the above and he would get tired of you really really fast and if he got tired of you he would just basically throw you out and it says here too that he would do it in his little the little tramp outfit you know it says only communicating with the actress was auditioning, capturing cards in mind, supposedly to test their ability to perform in silent movies, but my thing is like, okay, let me continue, the cards would never ever be more, my thing is this, but why would you need a, a card, a cue card or a caption card, if there was no talking, oh, I guess it was for like, maybe to exit right, or your arm or giving her directions I guess anyway he would get them to undress and he would fondle their breasts in a silent movie acting a manner eventually he would get them to 
link if you feel that way with somebody that has love but I think the other ones were just I don't even know what they were I guess like I said he wanted like little sex slaves or whatever I don't know but I have to say though I have checked out some of his movies and I gotta say I was sitting up here laughing you know 